Good evening and welcome to Dragon's Den with Down and Round Table, our first event we've held like this. We've had a fantastic year with loads of fundraising events such as fireworks, Oktoberfest and Santa Sleigh. So we've got so much money in our charity account we need to give it back to local communities and local charities. So tonight we've got £10,000 to give away with 11 charities, 4 dragons and all, all of them will be battling it out for a slice of this £10,000. Our first contestant, Pete, has got a novel invention that's going to save hundreds of lives. Good evening, Dragons. Um, my name is uh, Frank Aldi Sterling, um, and I'm here this evening um, to ask for your support in what is um, a new and I think a really exciting venture of mine the use of segways, an alternative form of first response transportation. So, what am I asking you for? I'm not asking you for the cost of the vehicle itself, that's something which I've already invested in, um, but I don't have the funds to convert it. Uh, I'm looking for somewhere in the region of £750. Do you realise that Segways aren't actually road legal in the UK? Well, I, I, I think they are. No, they're I'm, not. I'm pretty sure they are. You haven't even done your homework? Well, like I say, uh, if you're telling me they're not road legal in the UK, that's something I have to look into, but I mean, as far as I'm aware, they are. OK, so let's say you did somehow manage to get to the casualty. How do you then transport them to the hospital on a Segway? When you look at um, a number of the panniers and mountings that you can actually buy for these things, do include special uh, mounting so that one side of, a, of a, a stretcher can actually be mounted onto the back of the Segway. I think it sounds like a ridiculous idea. I'm, I'm going to put myself out straight away. Yeah, I'm out as well, I'm afraid. I think there's some gaping holes in your plan and I'm uh, well and truly out. Well, OK, well, Frank, um, it's a shame really because We've had some great pitches this evening, and you, you haven't involved cake, and you've also put rubber gloves on the list of equipment. They're really and important, actually. For that reason, I'm afraid I'm also out. Well, like I say, I'm obviously very disappointed, but thank you for your time. Our next contestant is Homestar. They're asking for some money to help young families all over Bristol. Good evening, dragons and ladies and gentlemen. My name's Jenny Harris, and I'm here to ask you for some money. I'm asking for a thousand pounds, but I'll take anything, and I could use more for a charity called Homestart Bristol. The aim of Homestart is to support the parents of disadvantaged families and help them to give their children the best possible start in life. And the Homestart method of doing that is to recruit and train and supervise volunteers. We need money because this does cost money. We employ six part-time staff um, because you can't just launch a load of volunteers on the world to do this kind of work with families without professional training, professional supervision, without DBS checks, all that kind of thing. We'll be working very hard this year to make the £130,000 that we know we need. We're still definitely short of about £20,000. We'll, you are just one of the many places we shall be going to and the many activities which we'll be involved with to raise bits of money. We're grateful for everything. And I do hope that you can help us tonight. Thank you. Um, personally, I'd say uh, a very, uh, very valid family, and someone that is away from here is also married to, to a teacher. Um, and I, I, I see it through my wife of what. Yeah you may or may not have done for some of the children in her school, but also the effect that anyone that does your type of work and yeah. that ripple effect that into, into the schools. I think certainly based on what I've heard, I'll, uh, I'll put 500 in. I'll bring you up to the uh, thousand you're asking for. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think my colleagues are being a bit stingy. <laughs> You've got 20,000 that you need to go up to. I think if we 
had a, a hunt around, had a look under the sofa cushions. I think we should be able to get that to two and a half thousand for you. <laughs> no worries. This has been a fantastic evening with loads of fantastic contestants. We've given away loads of money, 10 grand in total, and we want to give away more. We're always trying to help our local communities. We need your support though. Join Down and Round Table and you can help with fireworks, Santa's Lay and loads of other events. And come to Dragon's Den next year. Thank you.